Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. On a Sunday morning in April 1964, Richard Joe Buller, a 26-year-old foreign worker, was attacked by a group of six hooded men. Buller's shooting was only one incident in every increase of rise in Klan-sponsored violence that spring. Local sheriff in Southwest Mississippi reported as many as 16 abductions and beating of African-American men in February of 1964 alone, and all of them were in the Natchez area. Richard Butler was a simple farm hand who had become a trusted and valued employee of the white drain family. In March, two cars carrying several hooded white men tried to run Butler and his wife off the road. The following April, as he was feeding the drain's cow, Butler noticed two men repeatedly passing in a car, turning and fixing a glare on him. Later, as he was leaving, two hooded men with shotguns forced Butler from his truck and marched him to the back of the barn, where half a dozen other men were waiting for him. Butler quickly threw out his arms, shoved two of the men in front of him, turned and ran. The hooded man opened fire. Bird shot struck Butler in the upper body. The buck shot hit Butler in the leg. Louise Drain, who, who was inside the house, found Butler alive on the ground, but the hooded men were gone. Three men were eventually charged with assault and battery with intent to kill, but the charges were all dropped or were never pursued. I am Fred Gibbons, an eighth grade student at Morgantown College Prep Academy, and this has been your his, Natchez History Minute.